Hi guys, before we get started um, with the video, I just want to say that if you guys can share this video um, on your local Facebook page, any groups that you're a part of, any 3D printing groups, um, that would be awesome because we really need to get this out there and, and get as much help as fast as we possibly can to help the NHS. If you're not from the UK, um, maybe you can look locally, see if there's something that you can do with your 3D printer um, to help your local hospitals or whatever you can do really, it's awesome. But if you're in the UK, Please, guys, um, share this and see what you can do. Thanks a lot. Here's the video. Hi, guys. Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints with another critically important 3D print for you guys today. Um, first off, I'd like to start by saying I hope you're well and I hope you're keeping safe and you're doing all the things you're supposed to be doing, your social distancing, staying in, don't go out if you haven't got to. Do just It's really important that you stick to those things. That At the moment, the spread is, is awful. It, it's it's spreading like crazy and people are dying like crazy so everybody try and keep as safe as possibly can um, just a little bit more about the print now um, this is a very important print um, our NHS is critically short on a very few important supplies that they need one of which is masks well, not not the breathing masks the face shields the visors that protect them from being sneezed on and stop them from sneezing on other people that kind of thing really um, and there's a project online from Fact Technologies where if you print um, the clips that sit around your head and hold the mask, they will sterilize them, uh, bag them up and send them to the NHS. I think they're also providing visors for them as well. Um, I'll put a link to their website and the project down in the description as usual and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Now, I would appreciate any help you guys can do. If you check it out and decide you can help, please, please do. Um, they don't take long. They only take, depending on print speed settings, anywhere from two, uh, two to four hours to print two, because I can get two of my bill plate at the same time. So, um, ideally, printed in PETG because they're reusable. <coughs> Excuse me, they're reusable then. Um, if not, you can print them in PLA. They're still usable, but they can only use them once, and then they have to dispose of them. But if you can print P in PETG, brilliant. If not, PLA is still great. Anything you can do to help is amazing. Um, like I say, I'll put the description. I'll put all the description down there to, for the website and the address to send them to. Um, you need to include your name and contact details when you send them. That way, if they need some more from you, they can get in contact with you directly. All right, guys. So, well, as usual, I'll show you it printing, and we'll talk some more about it afterwards. Thanks for watching, guys. Then guys well this is it um, it's designed by fact technology and they've done a great job of making it very simple to print very easy to print um, I mean this is pet pet G and pet G is always stringy so they're gonna need a bit of cleaning up um, I did these at 90 millimeters a second 100% infill um, and they've come out a bit stringy and a few blobs and zits and bits and pieces um, so I'm slowing it down a little bit on my next one I'm slowing it down to 30 millimeters a second uh, still 100% infill, but i am also increased my acceleration settings, which should help with the string in a bit, and slow it down, hopefully help with the, the blobs and zits a little bit, hopefully just save me some clean-up time, really, because these do need a bit of a clean-up before I send them on. Anyway, that's it. They're really simple, really straightforward, and they're going to help the NHS out. Being petchy, they're a lot more flexible as well, but um, if you guys can help, please, please do. Like I said before, I'm going to put all the information in the description, uh, at the bottom for the website for Fact Technologies, also the address to where the send to, and don't forget to put your name and address in the packaging so they know where they've come from. Um, if if you can help, drop me a comment, guys, if you're helping, because I really would like to know how many of you guys are getting involved and how many of you guys are going to try and help. Um, and if you can, like I said before, share this video, put it on as many of your pages, platforms, groups, anything that you're part of. Let's try and get it out there. Let's try and get as much help for the NHS as we possibly can, as fast as we possibly can. Um, because this virus is a horrible, horrible thing, and the sooner we can get help towards beating it, we, we help the NHS and ultimately end up helping ourselves as well. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everything you're doing. Cheers, guys.